Bioclimatic Architecture and its Approach to Energy Comfort Bioclimatic architecture focuses on the conscious and responsible design of buildings. While it's true that architecture is an art and habitability can serve as a pretext for creating dreamlike spaces, the reality is that the construction industry, especially when not acting sustainably, generates significant pollution. In the face of this environmental challenge, contemporary architecture has had to adopt strategies that promote a positive impact on its surroundings. Fortunately, the field of design discovered that by combining traditional architecture with contemporary techniques and technological advances, buildings could be created that are both comfortable and beautiful, as well as energy efficient. For this reason, Bioclimatic architecture represents a conscious alternative in the industry. The concept of bioclimatic architecture. The concept of creating architecture connected to its context and environment began to take shape in the 1930s in parts of Europe and the United States. At that time, with the rise of functionalist architecture, some architects considered it was time to turn their attention to traditional architecture, which took the environment into account in its designs and used natural elements available to work in harmony with buildings. This gave rise to organic architecture. When referring to traditional architecture, it means that which has sought to build structures in a sensitive way, considering the user, adapting local techniques, using regional materials, and adjusting to the physical and climatic conditions of its location. By the late 20th century, organic architecture merged with vernacular architecture, and thus what is now known as bioclimatic architecture was born. This movement seeks to create healthy spaces and architecture that is responsible for its local biodiversity, whether built in cities or rural regions. Climate is one of the cornerstones of bioclimatic architecture, as it is carefully considered when designing, influencing the size, shape and position of windows. The building's plasticity, material specifications to maintain thermal comfort, among other design aspects. Bioclimatic Architecture and its Strategies Bioclimatic architecture is based on four strategies for designing and constructing buildings. Although it draws on concepts from vernacular style, bioclimatic architecture strives to incorporate its strategies into what is known as contemporary architecture. In fact, the concept of the passive house was born from bioclimatic architecture, which adapts current aesthetics and modern construction systems with traditional responsibility. Designing for the environment. To achieve comfort and energy efficiency, bioclimatic architecture focuses on adapting its designs to the physical environment and climate. But what does it mean to adapt? Essentially, it means considering the sun's path, orientation, and the type of climate to locate spaces and windows. This way, sunlight can be maximized to create warm or cool areas without the need for energy-consuming and polluting tools. Optimized spaces. In bioclimatic architecture, incorporating unnecessarily large spaces means energy waste because additional appliances will eventually be needed to light, heat, or cool them. Unless the flow of users requires it, bioclimatic design aims to correctly size each space to ensure ventilation, natural lighting, or ideal thermal comfort organically. Eco-friendly materials. The manufacturing, transportation, and installation of materials are responsible for much of the pollution in the architectural industry. Considering that this industry generates 39% of CO2 emissions, Selecting environmentally responsible materials will help reduce the pollution rate. These materials can be renewable, like wood or stone, or recycled, such as blocks and bricks made from plastics. Renewable Energy When nature provides clean energy, it's best to take advantage of it. This strategy seeks to use the sun, water, wind and the ground as means to produce the energy needed in any building. Stopping the consumption of hydrocarbon-based energy for activities within spaces will have a completely positive impact on the planet.